From being the most crucial film for the future of the DCU to the last hope that has to bring back fans, these are the reasons why the future of the DCU depends on Superman Legacy. It's probably the most important film on DC's Chapter 1 slate. Right now, the DCU seems like the most ambitious universe in the superhero landscape, and the continuation of this new universe depends on one singular film, Superman Legacy. Not only is the movie important for the future of the DCU, it will also show whether James Gunn was a good choice to lead or not. It's been some time since the movie was first announced, but Gunn has kept the details on the down low for now. Even though James has been part of the project for some time, many people assumed that his contribution would be limited to writing, especially since the film is literally make it or break it for the entire DC universe. Now that it's confirmed that he'll be the director, things have started to make more sense. Fans may be underestimating the significance of Gunn's role as director. Look at Guardians of the Galaxy. They were essentially nobodies, even in the comics. Now they hang out with the Avengers. The co-CEO of Everything DC needs to get this film right at all costs. Superman's success will decide the future of the DCU he's dreaming of building. That success depends on how well Gunn can portray this character. Superman Legacy has to please both diehard fans and regular moviegoers, as well as prove to the cavalry that Superman is in better hands. He's all good, and he cannot be all powerful and neither can you be. They need to see the fraud you are with their eyes. All in all, Gunn has his work cut out for him. To ensure Superman legacy succeeds, Gunn must do the complete opposite of what Man of Steel did. Many people consider the infamous 2016 Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice to be the final straw for the DCEU. Success or failure, that sequel had a rough start because of the polarizing nature of the original. So if Superman Legacy wants to please Superman fans and not fans alike, the red cape hero must fly in the opposite direction. You're scared of me because you can't control me. You don't, and you never will. That doesn't mean I'm your enemy. The film needs to provide viewers with a depiction of the last son of Krypton that is likable and not at all cliche, but still honor his legendary heroism and optimism. Whether you like it or not, that's something that Henry Cavill's Superman unfortunately lacked. Still, the actor's exit from the character was met with its fair share of criticism. This is exactly why Superman Legacy needs to be perfect to justify a remake. Not only that, the success of this film will also pave the way for even more ambitious projects in the future. It's true that Man of Steel did leave a sour taste among the fans, with its dark and edgy depiction of the superhero who's literally a symbol of hope, even with its different approach to the character. Mr. Clark Kent from the Daily Planet? Man of Steel was a somewhat good introduction for the character in the DCEU. Unfortunately, the follow-up is where the issues with Cavill's Superman and the franchise as a whole really started to stand out. While Man of Steel concluded with Superman defeating Zod and adopting the title of humanity's optimistic savior, fans were expecting a super exciting Man of Steel 2 storyline. Instead, they got the hurried foreshadowing of the DCEU's Superman in Justice League, which virtually ruined the character even further. I get why DCEU wanted to push out the film as soon as possible, but using the character that's essentially the face of their franchise was a big mistake. That's something that Gunn would want to be careful about. If you're making a Superman film, make sure it's a Superman film, and not a medium to tell a plotline other than soups. Not only that, Batman vs Superman took what made the Man of Steel so controversial and doubled it to the point where soups started to seem like a pessimist. Yikes! This depiction of Superman is one of the reasons why the DCEU turned out to be so underwhelming and is now dead. So if Gunn really wants to keep the DCU going, fixing Superman's reputation should be James Gunn's number one priority. Even before Henry Cavill's departure as Superman, the DCEU's Man of Steel was met with criticism for many contentious creative decisions. Many people were disappointed to see Soup being so edgy, but luckily, Gunn seems to be focused on fixing that. To begin, the tone of Superman legacy is likely to be Gunn's primary concern as the DCU visionary. Despite numerous re imaginings that have turned Kal-El into a grim despot. The Kryptonian is still shown as a bright and cheery hero in all media. Superman's status as a ray of hope was introduced in Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, which essentially kicked off the DCEU. But his role didn't develop much after that, which is a shame, honestly. On the other hand, Gunn has a history of developing underutilized characters into compelling protagonists, so it stands to reason that the DCU's version of Superman might be better. The fact that Gunn openly admires the all-star 
Star Superman comic book series, which has the most accurate version of Superman, is encouraging enough for the success of Superman Legacy in this aspect. According to Peter Safran, the film centers on Superman's internal struggle to reconcile his Kryptonian heritage with his human upbringing. That's enough reason to assume that Superman Legacy will have a bigger focus on Clark Kent, something that the DCEU never really explored. If that's the case, it's shaping up to be a great movie already. Another thing that's more crucial than ever is box office success. As the future of big projects depends on Superman Legacy, it's even more important that the film resonate with fans and critics. Even though Superman Legacy is a reboot, it's still a Superman movie. Solo Superman movies are notoriously expensive to produce and have a poor history at the box office. So to have the future of the entire franchise depend on the success of this movie is kind of scary. In comparison, Man of Steel is the highest grossing solo Superman film of all time, before adjusting for inflation. But it's nowhere near Batman vs. Superman's box office earnings of $872 million. That amount doesn't seem all that much these days. But if you account for inflation, Superman Legacy needs to exceed the $1 billion mark to match the box office success of Richard Donner's suit. But honestly speaking, there's no reason to think that Superman Legacy can't earn that amount. It can still be a super hit. The Batman is an example of that. But Legacy must have a grand scope and impressive visual effects to do justice to the hero. The film also needs to be more palatable to a wider audience than the Snyderverse movies were. But that doesn't mean it has to be the anti-Man of Steel. In fact, it needs to develop its own unique Superman character. After the last three movies featuring Superman have been critical or straight-up commercial failures, DC and Warner Brothers desperately need a well-done Superman movie. As the studio is dependent on the success of Superman Legacy, Warner Brothers took a major financial hit after merging with Discovery. It shows in the relatively small amount being spent to promote the studio's current slate of DC films. The studio is counting on Superman to save them from financial ruin. But if the new film is scandalous, it's game over for the DCU. There is a lot more to doing things correctly than simply avoiding Snyder's mistakes. The visionary gun is branching Superman out in a new creative direction, which can be a little dangerous. But then again, it's gun. He just makes superhero films work. It's not an easy task to bring Superman to the big screen. He's one of the most powerful comic book characters ever. Not only that, he's also one of the most well-known superheroes of all time, and his superpowers need a lot of movie magic to work in real life. To be fair, it's not as hard to make a character shoot lasers from his eyes as it was in 1978, but making Superman into a live-action movie is still hard. Most Superman stories are much bigger in scale and scope than those of other heroes. Let me remind you that one of his most impactful villains is Doomsday. Good luck keeping him under budget. So from being the one film the future of the DCU is riding on, to the one that might just bring back the superhero spark, these were the reasons why the future of the DCU depends on Superman Legacy.